This is a public service announcement to you because there are a lot of people suffering with sleep apnea out there and there are a lot of, I'll just say it, wishful products, wishful thinking about approaching and addressing this issue. And some of them do help to some degree. Some of them have great promises, sound amazing, but the fact is they're just going to waste your money and your time. And more importantly, they're going to take away your hope, your motivation in ever overcoming sleep apnea. So in the next few minutes, I'm gonna save you about 50 bucks and a whole lot of time and frustration by talking about something known as the Snorno Ring. So this is my Snorno Ring review. You can already tell this is not going in a great direction for them, but I do this for you because I just literally spoke to someone on the phone where they were saying they tried one of these out, didn't really work for them, and I'm someone who prides myself on knowing all the different things that are out there for sleep apnea. This is something I've not heard about. When I looked into it, I got a little frustrated, a little infuriated. So that's why I wanna be able to share the truth about this with you. So here we go. What is the Snorno ring? It's also known as a anti-snore ring. So when we look at this page, this is their sales page that you would see on Instagram or Facebook or somewhere else, you'll see that there's a ring and it's $47. We'll watch a little bit of this video in a moment. Oh, clinical trials, that sounds great. Oh, there's some reviews, that's awesome. How the heck does this thing work? Here we go, here's some mechanism. And basically it is telling us the magic behind this is this is representing activating some acupuncture points and then you now breathe magically. Is that actually how it works? So for instance, let's see what they say here, clinical trials. We're gonna see if that's true. We're gonna see, is it actually featured in any of this? Who are these people leaving reviews? And we're gonna talk about, of course, what you can be doing instead. So first, let's go into these, these reviews here, because this is my favorite thing, and maybe this will be something for the Federal Trade Commission. Here is Freddie Walker. That's not the person I pulled up, but here's Jeffrey Winston. You can look up where images come from. It's reverse image. And this is just also good internet shopping. You see someone, what you can do is you can put their image into something and you will see this is from a stock image photo place. This means this is hosted and available for people to buy and use this photo on multiple, multiple websites. So Jeffrey probably does not exist. Therefore, I would be willing to say here and in a court of law, these are probably all fake reviews. They're strike ones. So let's gather some more strikes, featured on The Guardian, Vogue, New York Times, Men's Health. Is that really true? Because they're already on my, my crap list here. Here's this person who, he exists, but just stock photo. So to compare, not as a self-promotional way, but just like, this is how this should work. When someone says they're quoted in a different place, like different websites, like Time or Forbes or Yahoo, you should be able to look this up. So. Do a site search on Google, site colon Forbes.com, Dylan Peckus, because I said I'm quoted in Forbes, and then it is beyond easy to see Dylan Peckus, how to fix your sleep posture. Dylan Peckus, how to stay cool while sleeping. That's how that should work. So what happens when we do the same thing with Snorno? TheGuardian.com, Snorno. All right, where is it, where is it? Oh, here's this article. And if you go to this article, like we will here, we look for Snorno, it's not found. And I'll save you the frustration of going through these 64 different results for ring because they're all just snoring. None of them are a ring. So it's not featured in the Guardian. What else did we say it was presumably featured in? What else we got here? Vogue, I did that one too. This article also did not have it. It does mention the aura ring, does not mention the Snorno ring. Let's continue on our, our merry way here. We already did Vogue. New York Times, nothing. Men's Health, you go through these, best anti-snoring devices. Snorno, not there. Snorno, not there again. So I'm willing to say these people lied about this. Next, clinical trials. Let's see, Snore ring. There are 11 studies. This is the National Library of Medicine. If you're gonna look up clinical trials, this is where you would find it. 
First is that when you search for this, there's actually no phrase match for snore ring or anti-snore device or anti-snore ring. When we look at the closest stuff, none of this actually involves none of these. None of these 13 results involve a ring of any kind. Okay, given the benefit of the doubt, maybe this works in a way as they've suggested with acupuncture. Well, here we go. If you look at the acupuncture literature for sleep apnea, none of this, none of this, I will spare you going through all 38 of these results. None of them have anything to do with putting a ring on your finger. They do have acupuncture, say, around some of the muscles or on the tongue, but no way, Jose, on the finger. So how can you have clinical trials on this? You can't. And let's even watch and be a little bit comical here. I think you know where this is all going in that I'm going to play some of these amazing results that they have from people. And I'm going to talk normally like this. And now I'm going to talk like a paid actor. And I'll let you go ahead and watch this and judge for yourself. I've been using the anti snore ring for about two months now, and I can't believe how I wake up in the morning feeling so refreshed. Anti snore really fixed the problem. All he had to do was wear a ring, and the snoring was gone. It was that easy. I wear this ring to bed. That's it. End of the snoring. I think you get the idea. I don't think any of these people are genuine experiences based on what we've talked about. All that being said, I think you can save yourself $47 and a lot of time on this because just based on all the red flags I've seen so far, then the other thing I have to believe is putting a ring on your finger will actually do anything for your airways and your sleep at night. And one last thing to just bury this home, if we go on alibaba.com, which is also known as a bunch of cheap plastic things.com that you can sell online, look what we find. We find the Snorno ring for about 55 cents. They're selling for 47. Oh, and these also help you lose weight. That's great. That's amazing. So the moral of the story is obviously don't get this thing. And beyond that is when you're looking online, do your best to qualify what's going on. Is this something backed up by the research? Because if you'll see my other videos, I back up what I say. I am showing you studies. I am saying here, here it is. There you go. This is how things work. This is why people are able to have results with these different approaches and being able to overcome sleep apnea. But beyond this is being able to have a mindset that there is not going to be any one silver bullet that is going to help you overcome sleep apnea. As much as they are preying on people desperate for a solution, a big part of that is our mindset that it's just going to be this one thing that works. And that's exactly where I was as well when I was struggling with sleep apnea. Just always hoping that there was just going to be one thing that flipped a switch and made everything all better. But whether it's this, whether it's some other device you put in your mouth, it's always gonna be a lot of different things. It's very multifactorial and it's gonna take time and effort to fix these things. And so that's why, yes, I encourage you to be able to verify what you're seeing online, but also understand it's not gonna happen overnight. You will try things out and some of them may be great for you, some of them may not. But the thing is, do not let one thing that is just someone trying to make money online with a cheap piece of plastic from Alibaba.com and trying to say it's the best thing ever. Don't let them steal your motivation. Keep your mind, keep your heart on the goals that you want, being able to reclaim your health from sleep apnea in a way that allows you to get your sleep back, to not have to rely on a bunch of stuff and be at your best health for your best life. So there you go. This was a relatively short video and I'll include this in a playlist of other things to look out for on the internet of sleep apnea, of what's really a myth out there so that you can avoid a lot of the time and hassle. Instead, focus on real things that are gonna get you real results. My name is Dr. Dylan Pekas. Thank you so much for watching. 